It happens every morning, and when you're late, and on your way out the door. But what if you never needed a key again? And what if your lock could connect to your phone, so you knew who came and went? What if the company that's reinventing the home worked with the company that invented the lock as we know it? Introducing the Yale Linus Lock. Welcome to Nest. We're going to show you how to lock and unlock the Nest Yale Lock. There are several ways to do it. You can even set your lock to automatically lock itself. Inside your home, the Nest Yale Lock works like a traditional deadbolt lock. Simply use the thumb turn to lock and unlock it. Outside your home, you can use the keypad to lock and unlock by hand. Press the Yale logo or hold your hand on the keypad until it lights up. Enter your passcode and press the check mark. To lock your door, you can use one-touch locking. There's no need to enter a passcode. Just close the door and press the Yale logo, or hold your palm on the keypad to lock your door. Of course, you can use the Nest app, too. You'll see your lock on the app home screen. It'll also show you if it's locked or unlocked. Tap the lock icon on the app home screen. Then tap and hold the lock button until the ring disappears. If it can't lock or unlock for some reason, the app will let you know. The lock will also tell you what's happening. Auto Lock lets you set the Nest Yale lock to automatically lock itself after you leave or when you're home. You can also set the time delay for Auto Lock. This lets you give yourself plenty of time to get the mail before your door locks itself. If you have Auto Lock enabled, make sure everyone who shares access to your home knows their passcodes so no one gets locked out by accident. We're going to show you how to replace your Nest Yale lock's batteries. We'll also show you how to open the door if the batteries are completely drained. The Nest app will send a notification when your lock's batteries are getting low, so you'll have plenty of time to replace them. Everyone who shares access to your home with the app will get the notification too. The lock will also speak to you to let you know the batteries are getting low. The battery is very low. Replace the battery soon. And you'll see a red battery light on the lock's keypad. You'll need four standard AA alkaline batteries. We don't recommend rechargeable batteries since they may not be powerful enough. Use the tool that came in the box with your lock to remove the back. You can also use a thumbtack. Just insert it into the hole and press down firmly. Grip the top and pull straight back. Put in fresh batteries and pop the back on. If you didn't have a chance to replace the batteries and they're completely drained, your lock will be offline in the app. The keypad won't light up, and you won't be able to lock or unlock your door. Don't worry, just hold a 9-volt battery on the contacts located on the bottom of the lock. This will give it enough power to let you lock or unlock it. The keypad will light up when it's charged. Then you can enter your passcode on the keypad. Your lock will remain offline, so you won't be able to use the app to control your lock until you replace the batteries. To learn more, visit our support site.